Well, uh, difficult to describe, but to describe, excuse me, tonight's guest in a few words, because he has so many uh, different hats. Tiong Yang is uh, the founder of Jeff Zone Farms, which, but he's also a political uh, activist. He's a community leader, a motivational speaker. Uh, Tiong, uh, very welcome, uh, very warm welcome to you this evening. Thank you. Now, the last time we saw you, you were investing in energy in Africa with uh, the superstar Akon. This time, you have set up a platform to encourage Africans back to farming. Yes. Young Africans, particularly. All right, tell us about this platform. If we move back to agriculture and farming on the continent, what got you started with this? Well, just on farms was a personal story because it's been years now. Every year I go back to Africa. Every month and a half, I go to Senegal two months and... Uh, one time, two years ago, I started just to pay attention to uh, everything I'm eating. Uh, the chabujan, our national dish in Senegal, 90% of everything in, the, in there, from the oil to the rice uh, to uh, all of the vegetables, most of the time are coming from overseas. And I started questioning myself, how come a country like mine or the continent of Africa, the youngest population in the world, we have sun 365, 365 days in the year, uh, we have the 65% of edible land in the continent, and we still importing 30 billion US dollars of food in the continent. And everything I'm eating in my house is coming from overseas. And how come countries like France, countries like Morocco and Extra, which many of those countries only farm six, seven months out of the year, are feeding us? And I say, I want to do something about that. Well, Africa, this is why I started the Jason Farms, to make sure that from my house first, that everything I eat comes from the country, and the farmers from the country. Then it went into engaging young people to take control of our own economy. Not only our own economy, but the core of our economy, which is agriculture. You cannot talk about independence. I mean, let's stay with that, John, because Africa's annual food import bill is about $35 billion. That's expected to uh, go up and up from here. That's really weakening Africa's economy. It's it's more than weakening, because by 2050, you're looking at... Right now at $35 billion, by 2050, experts talk about we're going over $100 billion, which is billions of dollars of business that some people will make a lot of money, but Africans, okay? And then who's controlling you, who's giving you food is controlling you. There's no real economy when you cannot feed yourself. Uh, And there's a lot of factors into that, because I believe that um, most of the food that we're importing to bring in our countries, oil, we get it from Ukraine, Malaysia, for example, in Senegal, rice and etc. All those things that come in the country, the vegetables, the food that are frozen most of the time also they're coming in, have some health issues also. And, and, and this is critical. But when we make sure that we send young people back into farms, make sure that they believe in farming again, that we make it attractive, that people like us who went overseas who travel and understand the world, coming back and investing into agriculture will help draw the young people to leave back the cities, go back into farms and help feed the countries, but also help create jobs for these min- millions of young Africans who uh, finish universities looking for opportunities to work and sometimes can find them. This is the reason why they are taking sometimes the cities to go to live in cities like Dakar, Nairobi, etc. How can we even make- Rochelle to add to this? They go all over taking the oceans to come here in, in, in Europe and the United States and extra looking for dreams that doesn't exist at all. Okay, all right. Mm-hmm. And Tiong Yang, uh, you are the founder of Jeff Zone Farms. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for having okay. me. It's a pleasure. Mm-hmm.